Excuse me. Wow. Is this okay? Is it okay? Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> After the traffic I just went through, you owe me a drink. Oh, I owe you all the drinks. And that's what's making a more than clear situation. What's happening in Lagos, hopelessly convoluted in the eyes of politicians. The only thing clear about Lagos is that Nigeria is suffering. And when foundations such as my own attempt to raise money for aid, the message becomes muddled by special interests and the people who represent them. Hmm. Well, I challenge that your invitation found its way to my mailbox because you admit to the reality of those interests. Now, the situation in Lagos is far more dire than anyone cares to admit. And if, if it wasn't for the people I represent, we all know where this ends. Do we? Director Wright. Please, continue. What were you saying? I was saying that the death of President Udo has emboldened a common man, the Nigerian warlord. I know who he is. And it's only a matter of time before his supporters take out the new president. So what would you suggest we provide support for the new president? Only if you can dispel him of his nationalistic leanings. That was the policy of Nazi Germany. Now, in the past, we could rely on America to intervene, but and now you've become too scared to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? To not look away. If you'll excuse me. Miss Wright, thank you so much for coming. Of course. He's quite a character. Indeed. That's Ade Asoji. He's an oil lobbyist from Nigeria. I find his advice aggravating, but also necessary. Dr. Ryan. Senator. Don't you mean deputy director? No, not when it's interim. Uh, whiskey straight up, please. I appreciate your candor the other day. I really hope you are the chains you were talking about. We are. And I hope they're wrong about Mexico. Such a disaster right on the heels of Lagos. Here you go. Thank you. Senator, we certainly appreciate your concern. Listen, acting deputy director, I don't want to get started off on the wrong foot here. If I'm to take you at your word, I think we're up to the same thing. What's that? Change. There she is. Surviving? I'm ready to leave. Wow. I know exactly how you feel, let me guess. Senators. Lobbyists. But there are a few bright lights. Well, speaking of, our host for the evening, Miss Sayara Lemos. Oh. Miss Lemos. So pleased to finally meet you, Dr. Ryan. It's not often you get a bona fide hero at these things. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, I think there are people at this very table who would disagree with you. <laughs> Dr. Mueller, such a pleasure. And likewise, your support for the WHO, it really means the world to us. And I heard about your desire to partner. We're absolutely thrilled. Your organization means more to me than you'll ever know. Will you be at the relief conference? Yes, I'm actually keynote. Look for me, front row center. I will. Nice to meet you. Wow, somebody knows everybody. Every now and then. Come by my office in the morning. I have an idea to run by you. Okay, I'm sorry, are you leaving? Yes, my small talk quota just got filled for the year. <laughs> Are you regretting your decision to walk? No, it's beautiful. <laughs> Wright's a good influence on you, Jack. Okay. What does she have on you? You want something real to eat? I'm up in five hours. Yeah. Maybe we should forget about that. I'll take a glass of water. All right. Water it is. Turn it back on. What? Turn Pluto back on. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You have 24 hours, sir. 